Hi everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a green and white ombre and these are on the 30 ounce curve tumblers by Hull. So these, um, these have been sanded spray paint it with a matte white and then spray paint it with some green down here at the bottom to give the spray paint an ombre it just makes the glitter easier to blend uh, this is 30 milliliters of um, epoxy and I'm gonna do half and half so 15 on each start with the back one duh right And since we're just doing glitter, I just need a thin layer of epoxy. Sorry, I'm right-handed and I'm not sure why I decided to do this with my left hand. <laughs> Cause I was just seeing if I could be ambidextrous today. And I'm making sure I get the bottom. So I'm trying not to move anything too, too much because my camera is set up around this turner. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Let's get the other one going. And then I might have extra to put back on that one. So I just posted a video not that long ago and in it, my children are fighting and screaming <laughs> and crying. So my youngest is taking a nap now and my oldest is doing ABC mouse. So I'm hoping we can get through this entire video without any screaming or crying or mommy come wipe my butts. We'll see. I have to put on their hashtag goals, get through a video without being asked to wipe a butt. <laughs> All right, that's looking pretty good. I felt like this one could use a little more, so I'm just getting the rest out of the bottom of this cup. Make sure we don't have any empty spots. All right, so it looks like we have pretty good coverage here with the epoxy. So I'm gonna go get my torch and torch it to make sure we don't have any bubbles. I will try not to start any fires today. If you follow my page, you'll know that I did start a fire uh, not that long ago. It was actually a pretty big fire, but luckily my husband is amazing and he got it out for me before anything was, actually nothing was damaged. So we were really lucky. All right, so you just take the torch over it to get any bubbles to pop. Now, I have to say, I have never tried to ombre two at one time. So I'm hoping I can do this without contaminating the cups next to it. But since they're the same colors, hopefully we'll be good anyways. Okay. Th 
This is Green Extra Fine Tumbler by Spinit. And I also have White Extra Fine, also by Spinit. And to help with the blending, I always like to add a chunky as the transition. And I have Martha Stewart, Stewart, I have no idea how to say that, Peridot, maybe? It's sort of a green with a bunch of different size flakes in it. I think it'll look really nice. All right, so I'm gonna start with the back one. And I'm just gonna get a heavy layer down here around the bottom. So, and this is just a regular teaspoon. It's nothing fancy. Although I think it is monogrammed. Yes, it is monogrammed with my last name. My grandma got it for me when we bought our house. I think I was actually pregnant when I got it too, so I cried. All right, I'm just throwing glitter at the bottom right now. You can take it off and do it. Sometimes I just find throwing it works just as well. All right. See if I'm in frame. Nope. Let's go up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is pull this out and get it back into this container. I'm just trying to make room so that when I pull it out, I don't make a mess. More of a mess. When it comes to glitter, it's one of those things. It is everywhere, no matter what you do. At least that's the experience we've had with it. All right, so I'm just going to turn the paper over and do the white. And I'm just using my fingers to clean the green off the spoon so it's nothing crazy. So now I like to make sure there is a really good layer of glitter because there's nothing worse than getting a glitter cup that has like a blank spot of glitter on it. So I will use massive amounts of glitter right now to get this <laughs> to where I want it. And since we're saving it, not a big deal, although I can see that most of it's not going on the paper. Oh well. Life, man. Life. All right, that's looking pretty good. Did I get any of it on the paper? About half. <laughs> All right. Now back to the green. So I want to bring the green up to about here. I wasn't sure where I wanted to put that line at first, which is why I left it down at the bottom just so I could see the cup and get it where I wanted it. So 
So I got that line up better this time. That's what I wanted to see. All right, so now back to the white. <laughs> this is one of those processes that you're just like really back and forth, back and forth. But this is what it takes to get a good ombre. So it is what it is, right? <laughs> All right, so again, I'm going to go over this to make sure that I have a good coat. And now I'm going to bring it down. To right at the green. My turner apparently is <laughs> spinning on glitter. All right, I'm letting it come down into the green so that it starts to fade for me. caught more that time. I'm not going to do that all the way because there was some green contamination up there. That's okay. All right, so now we have a pretty harsh line. So we need to try to get that green to be less of a harsh line. So I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to tap it like this but from a tall distance so that it scatters it more. All right, so see how we're getting a better transition. It's not just this green line. <laughs> And that's what we want. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is move this, get that into there, and then get the Martha Stewart one. Probably should have looked up how to say that before I started this video because now I feel like an idiot. Oh well. All right, so I'm just this is another one I'm going to sprinkle. Um, a lot of times with this, what I will do is after this layer spins, I will go back and add some more of this chunky to the transition area because there's not enough epoxy here, so it's not sticking. And that's okay. This is going to get another layer of epoxy on it. So adding a little bit of that chunky to it, not a big deal. So get that out of the way and get over here and start doing this one next. All right, I am gonna have to move the camera because this is right there. <laughs> it's going to be in my way. Oop, jeez. HTV just fell from the thing and attacked me. All right. So now. Number two. So this time I decided, since I knew how high up I wanted the green base, 
to start with the white, which is usually how I like to start, but I wasn't sure how up I wanted the green base, which is why I started with the green on the other one. So now when you will look at these next to each other, they will not be the same because these are all done by hand. All of the ombres are different. The level will be similar, but not the same on all of them. It's something that I love about custom is you can order seven of the same things and they're still all unique, even if they're all the same colors. I really like how that is looking. And once I get that next layer on and can even that out with the chunky, I really think that's gonna be amazing. looking pretty good. Okay. My toilet just started running and there's no one in that room. It's not ever good, is it? So we've got the initial white and the initial green, and now we'll start blending them. So I always go back over, always, always, always. Like I said, it is so important to me that there are no blank spots of glitter. So I made an ombre one time and when I went to spin it after I looked at it, it was a blank spot. I had to redo it. I can do it. Dane, are you okay out there? What's talking? The tablet's talking. Okay. Are you still doing ABC mouse? Okay. Sorry, I heard talking. All right, so you saw I brought the white back down into the green. And now I'm going to take the green, get the bottom better, well not better, just again, and then blend it up into the white. I should have worn gloves. <laughs> so now I'll go wash my hands when I get done and the kitchen sink, the um, counter, the floor between here and there, the handles, the soap, they'll all have glitter on them. All right, so you remember this advanced technique, right? <laughs> we just pull it up and tap until it blends. Okay. Down 
of that. And now for the layer of Chunky. My dog is jumping on the front door. So, but she wants in. So I'll go let her in. And then she'll walk around, sniff the kids. Well, just one since the other one's napping right now. And go back to the door and say she wants out. She drives me insane. So this one looks like it's not really going to need another layer of the chunky. Sometimes they stick better, sometimes they don't. All right, last step is to push the chunky down because you don't want to have to put 12,000 layers of epoxy on it. Bless you, Dane. All right, so I'm just, and I'm just barely tapping to try to get it to lay down flat. And like I said, this cup is going to need another layer of that chunky, which is fine. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. All right, so these are going to spin for at least an hour. And then I'm going to seal them uh, because this has an ombre. It's going to need to be sealed really, really, really well before another layer of epoxy can go on it. Then a layer of epoxy and possibly two. <laughs> and then we'll get to decaling. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.